I. So this is an example from the Nielsen book, problem 422. Problem 422. It says, uh, find the solution for this circuit by using the node voltage method. So let's do it now. I've got uh, I've got four nodes here. This one is reference. So this node voltage is equal to 80 volts. I already know it directly connected, isn't it? So this is going to be called this node VD1, and this is VD2. And I choose the current references also. make it different color so current reference for this independent source passive sign convention like this so that is the one that is the one that is already given so that is the one and that is the one so since I've got uh, this node voltage is already known so I'm not uh, is okay so this is IS, and this is I1, I2, I3, I4. So if I write, so I'm going to uh, directly write the Kirchhoff, uh, node voltage equations. So for this node, it's going to be coming out of the node IS. And this current here, sine is going to be plus 80. This node voltage is 80 volt, isn't it? 80 minus VD1. Is this resistor voltage over 5 ohm? This is this current. This is I1, isn't it? I1. And I2 is coming out of the node again, plus 80 minus VD2 is the voltage of this resistor over 5. Is this I2 current? This is I2 is equal to 0. For this node, it's going to be minus I1. So this is I1 minus 80 minus VD1 over 5 and this is plus I0 I0 is VD1 minus VD2 is this 10 ohm resistor voltage VD1 minus VD2 over 10 gives me this I0 current so this is I0 and this I3 is going to be sine is positive coming out of the node plus VD1 over 70 is equal to 0. The last one is this one. So minus I2, that was I2. So minus 80 minus VD1 over 5. And I0 minus I0 minus VD1 minus VD2 over 10. And this one plus VD2 over 12 is equal to 0. So since I we've got three node voltages, isn't it? Three node voltages and one IS. So four unknowns, four equations I've got here. Uh, I've got three equations. The because one of them I already use, isn't it? I use this node voltage. This node voltage, let's call it uh, VP, let's say, call it, is equal 80 volts. So I use it here. So the supplementary equations I already used in. 
So I didn't write that. Okay, how are we going to solve this? You can use the well, how we go, elimination method is the basic method. So since this IS is here, this is going to be calculated, it will be used only for but I didn't write the all equations, did I? Wrote for this one, I wrote this one and for this one, okay. For three equations, okay. Um, yes. Since, uh, as I said here, IS seen in this equation only. So if I calculate VD1, VD2 VD from these equations, I am going to end up with VD1 and VD2 values. Since you know VD, VD1, VD2, you can calculate IS. So that means I'm not going to use this at the beginning. I will be using these equations. By using these equations, I'm going to find out VD1 and VD2 values. So you're going to choose VD1 from one of them and write it in another one, isn't it? So VD1 in terms of VD2, put it in another equation so you can find that. So what do you do? If you multiply, uh, let's let's like it that way. So this is minus a to over five is sixteen, so minus sixteen. This is minus minus plus v d one over five. So this is v d one over ten plus v d one over ten. And this is minus VD2 over 10. This is VD1 over 70. Equal to 0. Similarly, if you consider this one, minus 16 plus VD1 over 5 minus this is minus VD1 over 10. This minus this minus is going to be plus, plus VD2 over 10. And this is VD2 over 12 equal to 0. So this one, so it's going to be VD1, VD1, VD1. So minus 16, VD1, 1 over plus 1 over 5, 1 over 10, and 1 over 70, VD1 is equal. If I put this on the right hand side, let me do it. This this equal if I move move sixteen right hand side. So this is minus V D two plus V D two over ten. So what is going to do? I'm dealing with this equation now. So you're going to multiply this, uh, uh, how to make it 15, 14. 14 times 5 is 70, isn't it? So 7, 1. So 14 plus 7 plus 1 over 70, VD1 is equal 16 plus VD2 over 10. So that is uh, 21, 22, 22 over 70, VD1 is equal 16 plus VD2 over 10. Mm. Yes. So if you multiply this, Oh, yeah, you know what? 
22.70. So you might consider it, uh, let me get the correct answer. So 11 over half of a 35 VD1 is equal 16 VD2 over 10. So we wrote VD1 in terms of VD2, isn't it, here? So if I replace that VD1 here, so let me write this one as well. So VD1, VD1, uh, so there are two VD1 series now, one of them 1 over 5 minus 1 over 10 VD1. VD2, both of them plus, plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 12 VD2 is equal to 16. So what is 1 over 5 to 1 over 10 is 9? If you multiply with 2, so 1 over 10 VD1 plus, so this is, uh, what is the nearest one, is that 60, is that, okay, 60, you're going to multiply this one, 6, and this 5, isn't it, so it's going to be 11 over 60, VD2 is equal to 16. Okay, so what you do here, let's say VD1, if I multiplied with 10, VD1 plus 11 over 6 VD2 is 160. So VD1 is equal 160 minus 11 over 6 VD2. So if you replace that with one, VD1 in here, you're going to find VD2. So I, d I already did the calculation, and VD2 is 60. VD2, and what about the other one? I've already done this, you see, that's why I'm checking this. So one of them is 60, VD2 is 60, and VD1 is 70. So these are the conclusions. Now what, uh, this, uh, what I am trying to show you step by step is this. So you've got to write the equations, and then you're going to use the elimination method. Now I am not going to, if you use the proper uh, classical methods, you were going to write 12 equations, 12 of unknown. We use not what voltage method, we reduced our equations from 12 to 3. So it's, it was going to be 4 of course, 1 supplementary equation. I didn't write it, immediately I put in. And I didn't wrote all these equations step by step or not use the three steps. I directly write it down. Afterwards, I didn't find any inverse of a matrix or anything like that because we are dealing with a small size circuits. So if you are doing multi, uh, manually, you're going to use the elimination, elimination method. I wanted to show you how we use this elimination method. That is the all. So once you find VD1 and V2, do then you can calculate IS, isn't it? So that means you found node voltages and the IS. So what about the currents? So for this node voltage, so you can easily say this element voltage is this. This element voltage is also node voltage. But this element voltage is the difference of this. And you can find all the elements, current and voltages once you found all these no voltages. I just showed it to you, but I am not giving you all that. For example, if I if I ask you what is I, I zero is, I zero is 
vd1 minus vd2 over 10 is known. So vvd1, vd2 already we found, so you can find is. Another conclusion that you can, this is a special circuit, it has, a, it has got a special name, it is called Weston Bridge. So we use this uh, Weston Bridge in the uh, finding the resistance of an element of a resistor resistance. So how are you going to find this value? So I'm going to redraw it. One practical usage of Western bridge. Let's say this resistance, you don't know what the value is, but you know this R1, R2, R3. And this is, let's say, R0. If this current is equal to 0, you can show it in this circuit. If this current is 0, that means I0 equal to 0, then this resistance, the multiplication of those two and those two equals to each other. Rx times R2 is equal R1 times R2. So if you consider this resistance, resistance value is changing. So there are some equipments like that, resistance. There is a knob, so you move the knob, you can change the resistance value. So what I am saying, how I am going to calculate the value of Rx, I am going to play with this uh, variable resistance, resistance value, in such a way that current is equal to zero. When that current is equal to zero, that means this resistance value is equal to this resistance value under the condition that R1 equal to R2. If you choose R1 equal to R2, then if you play with this resistance, resistance, resistors, resistance value in such a way that this current is equal to zero, then this resistance value, R2, or this, let's say, R3, is going to be equal to R3. Did I make a mistake? When this current is equal to zero. Okay, yeah. So this one of them is going to, of course, there is something wrong with that. So R1, R3, let's say R1, R3 is going to be Rx, R2. If you choose these equals, so R3 is going to be Rx. So we are playing with this resistance value in such a way that I0 equal to 0, then you can say that these are equal gone. Your R3 value that you have here is equal to Rx. So you find Rx value by using this. So this is one of the application of usage Western Bridge. How you can play with it? So you can, now we have done an analysis here. So you can make the decision when this current becomes zero. So you can validate what I said here. That's the end of this.